NASCAR held its second annual Drive for Diversity Pit Crew Combine, and HBCU Game Day was back in the pole position as we pulled into the NASCAR R&D Center in Concord on Coca-Cola 600 weekend. Last year's Combine featured a number of HBCU athletes, and we were happy to see some of our favorites from last year's Combine are now making their bones in the world of NASCAR. Lamar Neal, I am a rear tire carrier for RCR. I'm currently pitting for Blake Koch, the number 11 car, Xfinity. It's definitely been a roller coaster. Definitely have my ups and downs as far as trying to comprehend this new uh, foreign sport, really. I found my knack, which would be to throw the tire on as hard as I could. I like it. That was what makes me Lamar Neal as a carrier. From driver diversity to RCR, it's days where you want to quit, where you want to stop, where you want to just give up, and you have to keep going, you know? It's been less than a year, and I'm, I'm making good strides, but I want to continue to get better. And I don't want to stop, but I want to get complacent. I want to get better and make those around me better. Talk about you here, baby. Oh, yeah. hey. Tell me. I love seeing you. I love you. When I look back at it now, it's, uh, it's been kind of a, uh, you know, a good ride. Uh, I've learned a lot since the combine. I'm very appreciative of, of the combine and giving me an opportunity to be able to pursue my career in NASCAR. And um, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm doing it now. And you can definitely see a difference from a year. You know, if you really stick with it and, and work hard at it, you can really see yourself progress. My name is Brianna Daniels. Uh, I'm a recent graduate from Norfolk State University, and I'm a tire changer at NASCAR, the first African-American female tire changer at NASCAR. Initially, that's not the reason for me getting in the sport. I found that out, you know, once I actually got in, but, you know, I really am making history now, and it's, I think it's awesome. And, you know, I get all kinds of stares when I go to the track. You know, people, they know I do something, but, you know, they see me with my back, so they're like, what does she do? You know, I know she's here for a reason, but when I tell them I'm a tire changer, when they see me put on my fire suit, they're like, oh, cool. Some of them even might snap a picture or two. My first race was in Nashville, Tennessee. I had to go through a lot, like more than I would go through in a regular pit stop. I didn't have a tire carrier, so I had to carry my own tire off the wall. Yeah, I got the job done though, so that's all that matters. This year's rookie class also consists of several HBCU athletes who are still learning all of the nuances of life on pit road. And although they didn't know much about NASCAR before the combine, this group was focused and learning fast. My name is Bryce Bradley. I'm with Virginia State University. I play football and my position was free safety. I was a tire changer, mm -hmm. so basically getting the lug nuts on and off so they could take the tires off and put the new ones on and good stuff. It's funny because it actually relates a lot more than I originally thought. Just, you know, hand-eye coordination, hand speed. Like I play defensive back, so I do a lot of pressing and stuff at the line, jamming people. Um, flexibility, hip flexibility. Like when you play DB, you got to have loose hips so you can flip and run. And when you're getting down to change that tire, you got to get low. If you're too high, you can't even see all the lug nuts. Up until they came to the school, I had never watched a full race. I'm a football player, so I like action, you know, every play. And when you watch it on TV, you don't see that, you know, but when you're actually there at the race or near the pit crew and you see all the, the different pieces that go into making that race happen and making you know, it, it a, a success, you know, it's definitely, uh, definitely a cool thing, man. One reason the pit crew hopefuls were soaking up the intricacies of NASCAR so well was guidance from veteran pit crew members in attendance, like front tire carrier turned color commentator Dion Rocco Williams. Seeing them succeed on the highest level is validation for all the work that you put into them and the faith and belief that you have. This sport is, has a lot of uncertainties and a lot of things that you don't foresee happening to you on a physical level, on a mental level. So seeing these guys succeed and, and thrive and compete well is um, very gratifying and at the same time it's motivating to stay involved and create different initiatives and different ways to keep expanding, keep growing. I always said I wanted to have the ability to talk racing, to talk pit stops, to explain it in a way where I felt I could offer creativity and uh, a style that was unique to myself. And I was very involved when I was a pit crew performer. I was very visible, uh, for lack of better words. And my ultimate end goal, making it to the booth and be able to talk racing, the way that I experienced it and have it validated with my accomplishments within the sport is the ultimate satisfaction for me. A graduate of the Drive for Diversity program, Dion Rocco Williams has seen and done almost everything on pit road. And even though he's taken his talents from the pit crew to the announcer's booth, 
He was quick to impart his wisdom on the rookies and give them some advice that will help them succeed in the exciting world of racing. Rocco, he was telling us, although you want to be fast, but slow is fast, which basically means that you want to be persistent and accurate before you just trying to just throw the tie on there. So it's basically the same as with football, which is a good correlation between me playing my position at running back. You can't just always just run to the hole. You got to see it and then hit it. Rocco, I just use him for example. Uh, he started off in the pit crew. He did it for about 13 years, and then he was able to transfer over to the um, analyst side and behind the camera side. And I'm definitely interested in that because I majored in mass communications at Virginia State. Stay tuned to HBCUGameDay.com for updates on which of this year's hopefuls make the cut and get one step closer to a career on pit road.